Tune in and come with me. Tune in and come. Tune in and come with me. Tune in and come. Tune in My name is Patrick Moore, and I thought 2020 was the perfect year to start my travel vlog. More to explore. Cause there's more to explore. More to explore. I'm here in Berlin, the city center in Alexanderplatz. Who is Alexander? I, I don't know, but this is Europe, so probably a king or some. I believe this German tower was built in honor of the Seattle Space Needle, and that's why they call it the Berlin Space Needle. So now that I'm here in Berlin, I think a great way to get to know a city is actually to um, by going shopping. Alexanderplatz is known for shopping. Um, it, it's shopping in Germany is like shopping in the States, except with different money that's more expensive. The beautiful Berlin Space Needle is an iconic part of the skyline in this city, and I felt thrilled to finally see it in person. But despite my research, I was still wondering, who is this Alexander Plotz? A any comment at all on who Alexander is? The mystery stays unsolved. If you, if think, you think you can, you can solve, solve the, the mystery, mystery get, get in the, in the comments, comments and, and let, let me know. know. More to explore. Hi, I'm here at Brandenburg Gate, a famous place in Berlin that I read online. Um, this is a German gate. It's different than American gates because when you want to go through, you don't have to take your shoes off before you go through and you don't have to take your laptop out of your backpack. You just walk right through. And that's a fun, neat fact about German gates and Brandenburg gate. This is a must see gate. Wow, what a crazy gate. There's a big lady on top with some horses. The lady has a, has a staff kind of like Gandalf. I was definitely pretty blown away by this gate. America might be number one, but I think Germany has us beat in gates. It was just so easy and comfortable to pass through without even having to take off my shoes. Overall gate experience, 10 out of 10, would recommend. And they even let me touch it, which was pretty neat. Now, we'll try to get an interview with one of the most famous Germans in Berlin, the Allmann. Hey, Mr. Allmann, what are your thoughts on the rising COVID cases in Berlin? More to explore. Hi, I'm here at Checkpoint Charlie, a famous tourist location here in Berlin. Germany actually set up this checkpoint to prevent Charlie from biting any more fingers. And they have a helpful acronym here, the KFC, which stands for Can't Finger Charlie, because he'll bite it if you finger him. Another interesting uh, fact from our travels here in Berlin. Charlie bit me was a big influence on me. So it was thrilling to stand on the ground where Germany had tried to control Charlie and his biting. I could see why their battle with Charlie was apparently called the Cold War because by November when I was there, it was actually quite chilly. Hi, I just wanted to know, do you regret biting his finger? How much money did you make off of that video? The real highlight for me about Checkpoint Charlie was discovering the first bit of fine dining I had seen since I came to Germany, and boy, I was loving it. 
Born to explore. Thanks for joining me here on this fun adventure in Berlin. And remember, there's always more to explore. Tune in and come with me. Tune in and come. Tune in and come with me. Cause there's more to explore.